What's up guys, this is Sean and today we are in Quartz, I think. Quartz, but we're gonna check out Lexa, not Hannah, not Farah. Yeah, so today we are in Quartz, Wangsa, Maju. Let's go check it out. Now we are at Sri Ramai Station, the main driving force, right? And one of the main selling points for this location itself. La. A lot of people are buying this location just because it's close or nearby LRT stations. La. We can just look around the station. It's ludicrous, it's crazy. And just by judging on the amount of noise, right? You can really feel that it's really going to be super congested. La. And you just look at how busy the station can be. And just by moving slightly away from the station, you have the Wangsa Walk Mall, which is doing really, really popular, la, right? They expand and expand several times already. They even have a multi-story car park next to it, just to cater for the crowds in the weekends. Here you have your gym, your makan places, your cinema, your tech stuff, and things like that, which is the necessity already. And if that's not enough, you still have the Aeon Wangsa Maju. And if you really like grocers and things like that, there's still Tesco around here. And in one glance, right, you can see buildings literally every corner. So that is something that you need to know before buying it. Now we are walking through the ground floor which is a grid with the road. La. So these are all the commercial areas. It's a mixed development. So you have your retail downstairs and that is somewhat convenient. On the other side, it kind of compromises privacy as well as security for your units. La. It's important to check. The entrance for visitors and residents are actually separated. So let's go check it out. Ambulance. La. So some cool facts, if you actually wonder why there's like grass like this which is actually car parks and you get original car parks like this as well. So why different treatments right? Because in every development, there's a requirement to provide at least 10% in terms of area which is like a lot for landscape treatments. So some local authorities accept this as landscape, some don't. So we are now in the ground floor car park right and it's pretty bright, you can see the ceiling height is very nice. And there's a loading bay, la. so that's something I like where you have to go through the main lift to deliver all your stuff. So that's good. Just like there are other properties in 28 Boulevard as well, right? You can see the treatments to welcome you is really greatly emphasized. Right? You can look at the bubble floorings, you can look at the light treatments, deco all. And the scale of the corridor is always very outstanding. Like, I don't know why you need such a big entrance. But you need to pay maintenance for it. Like, so hmm. This is a very efficient floor plate. You look at the common corridors, right? It's only so short, but they manage to squeeze in 10 different units all around. The only voids you get is this row and this row. It's going to be pretty dark in this side. However, this is a very lucrative floor plate. You will get the only voids on this side as well as this side. But if you want to go into the corridors, it's going to be very dark. Leaf lobby point of view, uh, pretty decent, right? And you can see this is where they put all the compressors, yeah? Here it's going to be very, very hot. That's my first concern. Uh. It's very, very dark. So let's go and check out the unit now. Coming in, uh, then you can see the entire unit already. So it's a makeover guys uh, unit, so it's not as perfect. But you know how we roll, right? As long as we just see different phases of the construction process, I think it's cool. So this is the floor plan that I found online. This is type C. There's three different type C's and uh, the only difference will be the balcony size. And for C1B, this one, there's three bedrooms, two bathrooms, the kitchen has this side after you come in, and it's 819 square feet. The selling price is around 500 to 530. It depends on which floor level and which size. The estimated rental for this fully furnished is around 2002 to 2005. So the owner now is going through the makeover to actually increase the competitive age of it. Okay, so it's pretty new. I always show you pretty, pretty stuff, right? So in this one, it's a work in progress where we come in, this is the living room. There will be a dining, then there will be a breakfast counter here somewhere, and that's the kitchen. All these are provided by the developer already. 
This is full town. Okay, this is your basic, this is your workstation, and uh, this is where your cook. So there's gonna be burners here. This is gonna be your fridge, and that's about it. It's a very functional. Just that my first concern, if you are planning to do heavy cookings here, there is no ventilation. <laughs> no ventilation. Going to the dining space, the sitting height is very decent, I want it. And you have a corridor to your three bedrooms. It's a four feet corridor, uh, pretty small, but uh, let's check out the balcony first. So this one is the one where it's the smallest balcony. Opposite is Avilare and you can see all the mountains of high rises around. Or trying to leverage on the Sri Rambai station. And on the left, that is where all the existing shop houses is. It's a very narrow balcony and Balcony versus rentability, not as much. I think the minimal will do. Even if you choose the other two layouts, right, where the balcony goes across master bedroom, instead it affects the privacy of the other rooms. What you're hearing right now is all the construction noise for the surrounding projects. This is what I mean. So you can see Avila here, you can see the ongoing new highway here which is very exciting and that heads on to MRR2 already. Also what's exciting here is the Gomba interchange where every bus from the east coast right will be having their first stop in that station. Okay, so that's cool. Here also will be my second concern, the surrounding supply of apartments. Uh. Easily, if you look from the drone shots, 10,000 units, close eye, give and take. Low, are tiles. Then for skirting, they actually use timber, but they paint it white. There will be a shared bathroom here. And let's check out the specs. It's by Zela for your WC as well as your basin. You have a partition for your shower area, full height wall tiles. They actually drop the ceiling a little bit. Mechanical ventilation and bidet tissue holder. Very, very complete. Just that these details seems a bit weird. Lah. Okay. Because if you were to wash the toilet, right, the floor trap is located in the shower area. Coming out from the bathroom, I like that the switches are a very friendly height. And there you go, three bedroom, one, two, three, all here. Check out the middle bedroom first. Because of the ceiling height, right, hence the window span is very nice. And you walk in, it's rather some bit, but I think it's sufficient. Uh, so you have your plug points here, your aircon. I think aircon is an aircon. Because of this curb, the aircon can only land on this layer but you can see all these exposed which is not as great lah. and if you can see inside there's somewhat like styrofoam in the center right they mix concrete with styrofoam just to fill up partition walls like this because these are not structural and you can feel that it's a bit more lightweight in comparison to solid columns like this okay so <laughs> ah, oh, interesting oh, right oh, oh, oh. Let's go on to the next room. It's pretty spacious, lah, just that I need to share the bathroom. You will have a lot of kings like this. And not all kings are necessarily structural. You have things like this where you need to cut off the electrical items. Lah. But without any kitchen lighting, it's pretty bright because of the window here and just because it's the corner unit, lah, we will still get somewhat uh, corners to face windows. And I like that every room window. Also, you will experience what it's going to look like for a makeover or the renovation process for your very new unit. It's going to look messy but don't be scared about it. Lah. Okay. And I just noticed this, whatever aircon that is coming out from this unit is going to be placed here. And that is one of the concerns. I can only imagine the heat when all of these are on, right? This window basically I will need to close anyway. Moving on to the principal bedroom. You can put a queen size bed here, the bedside tables. I'm liking the book though, marble with timber. Nice. Then you have all these kings and your aircon. And I like the height of the windows, which gives in abundance of daylight. Principal bathroom. Let's check out the specs. Zilla. Zilla. And then partition up the shower area again with the weird treatment of floor trap. Hmm. But overall, full height wall house window. <laughs> so why 
details like this uh, because for every toilet right there's a minimum requirement set by the local authority based on the area of the toilet you need to be reflected in the area of ventilation so i think that's about it for the unit right it's nothing much it's a pretty simple straightforward layout uh let's head on to the common facilities this is the rubbish refuse room and this is the rubbish and this one goes to all the other side of the corridor We are now at the facility deck and after you come in there will be two pools of water just trying to mask the whatever noise from the traffic and construction sites lah. Okay, and they use pebbles like this. It feels more like aggregates. Lah. They have a water body like this. But what I like is the treatment of the yoga area where they purposely plant the trees in a very random manner and you have all this circle circle for you to do your Yep, so you also have spaces like this to have a different experience uh, but I think it can only happen when all the construction around are no longer there until they settle with all the noise, right? You're never gonna find peace here, la, right? Just listen to it. Right? Oh my... Next to the yoga garden days will be your multi-purpose hall and it looks great. Wow, check out the high, check out the air cons, right? Everything is ready for you to have an event. Cool. And this is the swimming pool deck ready. One observation, their common areas are very well done. La. So you can really feel the sense of space right throughout the whole entire facility deck. And the pool, you, you can really feel the length of and depth of it. Uh, also, for safety reasons, you can see that this is almost as tall as me for the purposes of safety and the profile is actually vertical kids cannot just climb on it and just go over but what's scary is there's still a lot of pocket of land surrounding and this perfectly can be another block of building next to the building next to the building next to the building <sighs> Yeah, so this is your kids playground. Rather small one because we have seen way bigger ones. I, but I think it's still okay. And when your kids are having fun, the parents will be here chilling, trying to absorb some of the rich new. And this is the gym. You have your weights, you have your treadmills overlooking the swimming pools. This is where your barbecue pits are. And I really like the ceiling profile. And it creates this very dramatic effect of shadows. So there's something new, jacuzzi while you lie down and you have a pit rest there and it's under the shade as well. Overall, it's called the quad. So you have Lexa, you have Farah, you have Hannah and a few more that's coming up. Hence, it's one whole development all together. There will be a separate entrance where it's actually open parking for visitors and the residents will actually park upstairs. So it's an elevated car park. So three things I like. Number one will be the surrounding infrastructure. Bangsa Baju has been a very popular place because a lot of people who work in KLCC, right? If you can afford to stay around KLCC, then you stay there. Lor. But a second alternative is around this area, which is the Sri Rambai station as well as the Wangsa Maju station. Now you also have the Gombak station where it's an interchange to the east coast of Malaysia. Also, you can see Duke is expanding. This location to Mong Kiara, to KLCC, to Jalan Ampang, to MRR2, it's very, very convenient. Plus, the surrounding development, you can really see the roads are on construction, the neighbors are on construction, everywhere also construction, trucks here and there. It means improvement. It's the effort to increase livability of this address. Lah. So that's something very exciting. Then you have the Wangsa Walk Mall, you have the Aeon Mall. Then if you want something bigger, Yao Chi is not that far off. Then in terms of population here, there's a lot of magnets that generates population here. A lot of education facilities around here as well. Second thing will be the common areas of this project. They're from Singapore and their treatments to common areas are just different. Okay, In a very good way. When you step into the entrance, you feel like, ooh, classy where you you will not imagine that this used to be a four to five hundred thousand project where the visitors or residents right can feel the scale of space right from the entrance lobby itself. 
so that's something rare and you can see the treatments for their multi-purpose hall the facility deck the swimming pool the landscape the yoga deck it's pretty well done number three i like the price the entry price of this project as a normal average person who works for around three to five years where you can actually afford a property like this and the surrounding renter can actually justify that this is a very interesting choice between own stay as well as investment so you kind of have both uh. Three things I don't like, number one is the surrounding infrastructure improvements. Uh. You can really feel trucks around, narrowness, the noisiness, the busyness, the dust around and it's pretty hard to find peace and quiet in any corner in this building because you're just next to the main road, right? You're next to the roundabout. It's cool in terms of connectivity and all, but I cannot just imagine that it's constant buzzing noise all around. I guess that's the price you need to pay for improvements, right? Point number two is actually the density of the projects. You see what I mean? In this project itself, it's already pretty dense where I think there's three to four phases of launches. Not only that, you have Sunway Avila there, you have Hampton here, you have Putra, you have Wangsa 9, you have Seasons, you have H4. Density, it's very high in this location. So how's that going to affect you is in terms of capital appreciation. High density always kind of affects the capital appreciation of things. Last of all would be the unit layout. So they squeeze pretty much every inch of the layout already. You have the pretty big kitchen, just that no ventilation. You have the living room but a very small balcony. You have a toilet with very weird floor trap design. As well as the principal bathroom, you have the very weird window kink. I like the height but the corridor is very dark. They want to maximize the efficiency of the floor layout so you have pretty dark corners and things like that. The location of the aircon compressors outside in that only void where you have fresh air. You get what I mean? So I guess that's all for this episode. Uh, it's very entry friendly for people who are new to investment. Four to five hundred thousand. It means that your household income seven to eight thousand per month. You can actually get one of these in pretty much city center already. Like you have all the existing facilities like highways, train, malls, tertiary education, shops, commercial, hambalang, all got. Just that you need to compromise in certain things here and there. Lah. If you really like this episode, like it, share it, and even subscribe for more information like this. Until next time, this is Sean Tan. Ciao.